Alright, so I guess it's time for an update. No, this, so this vlog is an update on the review we did on our strings. No, thank you Apple again to Stringer PH for sponsoring us with the Il Canone violin soloist. So the Il Canone violin soloist there. Alright, so for this vlog, uh, this is technically just a follow up for my first impressions review. No, so kung napanood niyo yung video na don, uh, we talked about how these strings were performing. No, for, so first few minutes pa lang yun, no, and yun yung first impressions. So today's November 1, so medyo late na yung review natin. Usually I do follow up reviews after a month. Pero medyo busy na, you know, bare months na, maraming mga performances, which is also a good thing kasi na ma may kita natin how well the instrument or the strings themselves perform. No, kasi laging nagagamit. So I've been using it, I've installed the strings right before I left, which was, I think, September 9 or something like that. So more than a month na. I've been using it almost uh, one and a half months, no? So, ito na siya on my violin. I haven't changed anything on the strings yet. Di pa ako nakakapagpalit. So, let's go over how it looks right now. Kasi, syempre, nakaka-apekto din yun. How it will uh, sound and how it looks. Meaning, the, did the strings degrade over time? So, yun yung mga titignan natin. So, right now, it still looks uh, good. I don't know if the camera can see. But, ayun. So, this is normal for an E string. Especially for me, no? Na, hindi na siya masyadong uh, lustrous. Or, hindi na makita yung shine niya. So, it has lost some of the color. So, medyo dark na siya. I don't know if that's rust. Pero, wala namang lumidikit sa fingers ko. When it comes to it. Like, breaking down or something like that. Pero, discolorations are, I think, perfectly normal. No? Kahit yung mga gold strings natin. Uh, the, the color fades because again we're using it a lot on the larger strings wala pa rin naman ako nakikita uh, significant damage no so uh, i've been using it for let's say 3 to 4 5 hours a day kasi nga may mga performances rehearsals practice so gamit na gamit naman din yung yung strings so if you are a heavy user i think okay naman siya within the span of a month you know, or two. There are some. I don't know if it's just with my fingers na pero medyo rough na din yung strings ng konti lang naman. So normal wear and tear, I guess. So yeah. So the sound. So I really can't show you how well the quality is on video, diba? You, have, you still have to check it out for yourself. But let's try to play a few things. Just so we could compare from the previous video. So I'll link the previous video down below. Yun yung first impressions nga natin. So you can check it out. Okay, so basically what I said in my uh, previous video was it was really nice sounding very focused sound and the projection is really good so napatry ko this with my friends and colleagues and I think they like the strings as well and personally for the price point I think it's really a good deal no compared to the strings in its, in its price range so ano ba yung uh, price niya would, would be I think Dominant Pros no Peter Infeld something like that or Eva green so something uh on the on that price range the sound quality is there of course it didn't degrade as much so malakas pa rin siya even with you know just normal everyday use yun nga medyo heavy kasi yung mga performances and all but <laughs> there's still this resonance no maganda pa rin yung resonance niya and and it's still uh gives us the sound that we want no? 
and it's still responsive on the bow, no? Madali pa tunugin. Since day one, yun yung okay sa kanya. Okay. Although, there are a lot of good things that you can say about the strings, no? There are also some cons that I experienced, no? So, syempre, may mga ano rin tayo. Meron, di tayo bias. Di. But I'd like to uh, thank Sir Roy for actually uh, getting the feedback. So, he didn't just give us the strings and, you know, just tapos na. He, he was asking for feedback and everything. So, I tried to give exactly how the, the strings sound and I try to be honest and, you know, just really do a thorough review of the strings, okay? So, yung isang hindi ko nagustuhan <laughs> the strings na yun is that uh, the tuning stability for me is really uh, parang the down, the drawback for it. So, I thought nung una, <laughs> first time ko siyang nilagay, di ba? Is that mahirap siya ito, no? Kasi nga, first time pa lang, so binibreak in pa lang siya. But, for some reason, yun, sabi ko nga, 30 minutes after, yung A string niya, ganun pa din, hindi pa rin maitono ng ayos. And then, for, after a few days pa, no, nung ginagamit ko na siya regularly, this, the problem is still there. The A string, especially the A string talaga, ayaw niya matono. It, I don't know if it's with my instrument, kasi the last strings that I put here was Dominant Pros. I didn't have that problem of the A string always going down. So, usually may mga performances nga na while I was playing, it would go down. So, it, it hasn't stabilized well for me in my experience. So, if you have experienced this on, on those strings, maybe uh, it's not just my a problem that I would be experiencing. So, just be cautious about that. Pero once na natune mo na siya, it would stay there for like uh, the whole time na ginagamit mo. Pero, yun nga. Tinago mo na siya, and then you tune it again when you're using it, there would be instances na mawawala ulit siya sa tono in a matter of a few minutes, no? So, mga 20 minutes in, mawawala ulit siya. So, you have to constantly check. So, yun lang yung medyo ano sa kanya, drawback niya. I don't know, again, I'm just speaking based on my experience. So, kung hindi mo na-experience yun, your mileage may vary in different factors as well. But I don't think it's a problem with the instrument kasi yun nga galing ako sa very very stable tuning naman on the dominant pros na halos hindi na siya nagbabago so uh, issue for you kung mahihirapan ka magtone ng instrument mo maybe try to be a little cautious when you're buying these strings but aside from that yun nga the sound quality remains good it doesn't deteriorate as much katulad ng ibang strings on its price range. Maybe it's because of the technology that we have right now. Because usually, uh, before, no, with the older generation of strings, before uh, the Dominant Pros and this El Canone Soloist, mabilis mag-degrade yung mga uh, strings na yun. Especially with me, I have like sweaty hands. So, mabilis talagang uh, masira yung mga strings. No? I don't use Dominants for that specific reason kasi nagpupulbos talaga yung uh, winding niya for on me so i don't use that but for this i think it's 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 still uh very very smooth pero yun nga may konting bumps na rin but i don't know how long this will last me no? tuning stability on other strings like on the g and d okay naman but again if your a string is always falling down syempre lahat yun maaapektuhan so just be cautious with that because yun nga, yun yung pinaka main caveat ko with the Il Canone set. I haven't tried the other uh, E string because hindi pa naman kailangan, no? Buo pa naman siya, maayos pa yung tunog. But hopefully I could try it out once this wears down. Oh, yeah. So the string tube, I don't remember if it comes with, but I think it comes with the uh, tube right here. Para sa quality ng bridge mo, hindi masyadong maapektuhan. But yeah, uh, wi within that span of almost two months, I could say na maganda pa rin yung, ano na, yung response and everything. But yeah, just one con for me is the tuning stability of the A string. So again, kung nahihirapan ka na ito na yung violin mo, maybe 
as much as possible, wag mo, don't go all in on this muna. Maybe they could still tweak because Larsen has been very vocal about you know, the feedback. Kung gusto talaga nilang marinig yung feedback ng mga users and all. And I think uh, if you have experienced anything na they can improve on, just tell them. And I think they would uh, greatly appreciate, of course, feedback from their consumers. Kasi tayo din naman yung makikinabang with the quality of the strings that we get. No? So again, sound quality still the same. I could give it, if I'm rating it, uh, uh, I could give it 4.5 out of 5 just because of that uh, problem with the A string. So hopefully, it gets fixed if it's not just my problem. Kung problema nung sa akin, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, chewing stability is really important especially for if you're playing with groups diba yung mga ensembles natin so you just have to be cautious when you're using the strings and i don't think i think it's really a good value for money no so i think the price is around 4570 pesos something like that so at that price point again you could buy either this dominant pros or i think eva greens nga. so with those three I would highly recommend recommend all those three. So, if you wanna try each and every one out, uh, don't skip on this one because the, the quality is really nice. Yeah. So again, Il Canone Violin Soloist from Larsen Strings. So, yeah. So, kung nakatulong tong video na to, it did help you out in choosing the right strings for you, please do drop a like. Comment down below more content you'd like to see. And of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on all my socials, all the links you need down in the description box below. And this is the end of our vlog. Thank you again for watching and I hope to see you on the next video.